wish you had a skincare therapist bestie with over a decade of experience whisper skincare tips, ingredients, and solutions in your ear. Welcome to the Skin Coach in Georgia podcast. I am your host, Maya De Semini, a clinical esthetician and founder of Urban Skincare Clinic. Whether you're challenged with acne, rosacea, dark spots, or just want to learn how to maintain a healthy glow, this podcast is for you. Let's transform your skin one episode at a time. Welcome to the Skin Coach in Georgia podcast. This episode is brought to you by Urban Skincare Clinic. All right, at the time of this recording, we are in the month of May, and May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. So I found it fitting to talk about skin cancer and share a technique with you that you can use to examine your moles at home. Well, first and foremost, I cannot stress enough the importance of getting your skin checked regularly by your dermatologist, because there's no way you can examine yourself at home. You can't really look at your scalp and the back of your body and so forth. But I'd love to share a technique with you today so you can do self exams at home. Now, the type of skin cancer I am talking about today is melanoma. And those usually start out with mole like spot. So when examining your moles at home, you want to look for A, B, C, D, E, and we're going to break all this down. So A stands for asymmetry. Does one side of the mole match the other? B stands for border or irregularity. Do the outer edges look irregular? C stands for color or variation. Is the mole dark or multicolor? D stands for diameter. Is the mole larger than six millimeter? And six millimeter is as big as a, the eraser side of a pencil. You know how regular pencils come with an eraser on the other end. Um, that's six millimeter. And E stands for evolving. Is the mole or the lesion changing in color, size, or shape? So that's how you can check your moles at home. And if you see something suspicious, definitely make that appointment and see a dermatologist. Why don't we review some sun safety? First and foremost, any dermatologist or esthetician will tell you, do not use tanning beds. Um, and from there, you want to wear pants and long sleeve shirts when possible. Also uh, consider wearing a hat and sunglasses and remember reflection. Be extra cautious when you're near water, snow, or sand. And when it comes to sunscreen, you want to apply your sunscreen before going outside. Make sure your sunscreen is broad spectrum that is protecting against UVA, the aging rays, and UVB, the burning rays. You wanna reapply your sunscreen every two hours or after swimming or sweating. My favorite one is a physical sunscreen by Image Skincare. It is a SPF 50. That's what I like in the spring and summer months. You can go to a 30 for fall and winter, but definitely SPF 50. And any more than that is not doing a whole lot more. That's like the sweet spot. And I prefer a physical sunscreen. If you haven't already, you want to go back and listen to episode number five, which is all about sunscreen how to read the labels, what do they mean, and what's the difference between physical versus chemical sunscreen. So go listen to that episode. Uh, very informative. You want to practice sun safety every day, all year long. All right, ladies, that sums up my skincare knowledge I wanted to share with you this week. Mother's Day is two days away. Happy Mother's Day if you're a mom listening in. And if you have any questions or concerns, shoot me a DM on Instagram or Facebook at Urban Skincare Clinic, or you can email me at hello at UrbanSkincareClinic.com. All right. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.